What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel and to today's video which is going to be everything you need to know about puffer jackets. I'm going to show you loads of different affordable options, I'm going to show you different ways that I personally like to style the puffer jacket. So yeah, today's video it's basically going to be a puffer jacket 101. But before we do get into the video, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody that has been supporting me since I've kind of been back uploading. Um, yeah, the, the support has been overwhelming, so a big, big thank you to all you guys. I just want you to do one thing, if you are enjoying the videos that I've been uploading recently, make sure you go down below on this video and smash that thumbs up button. And yeah, if you're interested in kind of seeing what I'm up to on a daily basis, hop over to my Instagram and give me a follow on there. Alright, so puffer jackets. If you have any kind of interest in the fashion industry, then you will know that the puffer jacket has been massively on trend as of late. So I thought it'd be a good idea to bring you four different puffer jackets in four different colorways from different retailers, and then show you how I like to style each individual jacket. So that's enough of the blabber, let's move on to puffer jacket number one. And there we have it, that was the first puffer jacket. Now, if you did watch my previous video, which was a huge ASOS haul, you would have seen this jacket in that video. So this I picked up from ASOS. I absolutely love this jacket. I love the color, it's like a washed out green. I love the fit, it's nice and oversized, which is something that I always look for. I like the cut. Um, yeah, and this is an absolute bargain on ASOS. I think it is currently at like £45. Everything will be linked in the description down below. But yeah, I picked this up from ASOS in an XL. Um, and I paired that with the grey wide leg pants, which are also from ASOS. Um, the Balenciaga on foot and then just a plain white tee. All the links for all the items in today's video are going to be linked in the description down below. So if there is anything that you like, then go ahead, go and check them out in the description down below. That is it for puffer number one, moving on to puffer number two. So puffer number two is again another that was from ASOS. This, this is probably the puffer that, well no, this definitely is the puffer that I've had for the longest. I've had this now about two years. Um, it's lasted me so long. But yeah, with this being a black puffer, I wanted to kind of dress it up a little bit. So yeah, the outfit that we went with with this was a pair of black cropped wide leg pants and just a plain black tee from Uniqlo and the black Doc Martens on foot. Although I picked this up two years ago, there is a very, very similar one that's on there right now, so that'll be linked in the description down below. I think I paid 60 at the time for this, but the one that I'm, the alternative is 55 pound. But yeah, this is super, super thick, um, nice and oversized. This has done me well, two years. Puffer jacket number two is the black oversized puffer from ASOS. And the third jacket is this 
beautiful, beautiful beige, like corduroy puffer that I actually picked up from the recent Zara collection. It's just dropped in store now. And yeah, as soon as I seen this, I literally picked this up a couple of days ago. As soon as I seen this, I had to get it because I don't own, this is the only beige, I wear a lot of beige, but this is the only beige puffer that I own. So yeah, as soon as I seen it, uh, I had to pick it up. Now this is slightly more expensive than the previous two that I just shown you. This came in at $89.99 if I remember rightly. I think it was $89.99. Um, so yeah, slightly more expensive. Still, I mean, obviously everybody, everybody's circumstances is different. So um, what is affordable to some people may not be affordable to others, but um, it's still on the more slight affordable side in comparison to um, some of the jackets that you can get that are, you know, five, six, seven hundred pound plus. So still, um, still relatively affordable in comparison to that. Super nice quality. Um, yeah, like I said, a beige corduroy, and I paired this with the light blue denim collision jeans, um, the white Balenciagas, and again, just a plain white tee. So that was the third jacket. Now moving on to the fourth and final of today's video. And there we have it, the fourth and final puffer jacket of today's video. This beautiful brown uh, puffer that I picked up from weekday. This is called the coal jacket. This might be my favorite. Out of the four that I've shown you, this may well be my favorite. Either this or the washed green, the first one. Um, but yeah, I picked this up from weekday. Now this was the most expensive out of the four by one pence. So this was um, 90 pounds on the dot. So still relatively affordable, but the color, I absolutely love the color of this. Um, yeah, super oversized. It's, to be honest, it's not that thick. Out of the four jackets, but it's probably the lightest. So it's not, it's definitely not gonna be the warmest, um, but just aesthetically such a nice jacket. Now. Because of the colour, I decided to um, style this with pairing it up um, by pairing it up with the brown uh, ASOS design wide leg trousers, the high waisted ones um, that I actually shown you in the last video. So I styled it with them trousers. I was wearing this turtleneck t-shirt, which is also from ASOS, and again the Balenciagas on foot. Um, as I've previously said in the, the Balenciaga unboxing video, there's so many alternatives uh, to them. So, because they are super expensive, but yeah, there's so many different alternatives to the Balenciagas. Don't feel like that's the only that's the only sneaker that you can um, style these jackets with. There's so many different alternatives. I'll link a few of them in the description down below as well. So yeah, the fourth and final jacket of the day was probably my favorite and that was the cold puffer jacket from a weekday. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section down below which out of the four different jackets was your favorite um, and how you would personally like to style a puffer jacket. Because obviously, you know, this is just my personal preference. There's no rules to this. Uh, yeah, this is just my personal preference and my personal style. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's have a little chat down there. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you hop over and follow me on Instagram. I'm pretty active on there, on my stories, on my posts. So yeah, that's at I'mNafe Griff. So go ahead and follow me on there. And there we have it guys, how to style four different alternative puffer jackets. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, as always, please smash that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe down below if you are new and I'll see you on Sunday. Peace.